Hello mga ka Isipmat! It's Megan Teacher Koy and welcome to Isipmat Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-usapan po natin ang ating week number 4 nating grade 8 mathematics sa quarter 4 po natin. Pero bago pong lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para po lagi po updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. At huwag, at huwag nyo pong kalimutan i-follow ang ating Facebook page, Isipmat Tutorial at mag-join ng ating Facebook group, DepEd Teachers Files. Okay, so, ito po yung ating topic ngayon, Properties of Parallel Lines. And once again, this is for Grade 8 Mathematics, Quarter 4, Week number 4. At ang ating learning competency, Proves Properties of Parallel Lines Cut by Transversal. At ang ating objectives, at the end of the lesson, students are expected to determine the angle pairs formed by parallel lines and cut by, tra cut by a transversal line. Find the measures of the angles formed by parallel lines and cut by a transversal line and apply properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal in solving problems. So for our lesson 1, we have here angle pairs formed by parallel lines cut by transversal. So, ito po siya. Ano po ba yung tinatawag natin parallel lines? Okay, parallel lines, we have here coplanar lines that do not intersect. These are also lines with the same stiffness or slope. Ibig sabihin, itong lines na to ay hindi po sila mag-intersect. Okay? Okay. So, for example, we have here line X, this one, line X, and our line Y. So, they are parallel. Hindi po sila nag-intersect. Okay. Ano po ba tong tinatawag nating transversal? Okay. Transversal a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines not necessarily parallel at distinct points. So, ibig sabihin, we have this one, line T. Okay, this is our parallel lines, line X and line Y. Okay, they are always the same distance apart. And then, we have line T. Okay, this one, our transversal line. Okay, okay. So, Intersects two or more coplanar lines. Ibig sabihin, nag-cut po siya dun sa dalawang parallel lines po natin na line X and line Y. Okay. So, ito po ang ating transversal line. Okay. So, with this, nakapagbuo po tayo ng 8 angles. Di ba? Because this one, transversal line T, nag-intersect kay line X, may angles po natin, may angles po dito. Diba? At saka meron din, din dito si line T nag-intersect kay line Y may angles din dito na nabuo. Okay. So, angle pairs formed by parallel lines cut by transversal meron po tayong tinatawag na in exterior angles. Okay, by the way, pag sinabi po natin yung exterior, exterior nasa labas. Yung interior nasa loob. So, sa ating drawing po dito, Parallel lines cut by transversal line T. Ang ating exterior ay dito sa taas. In this one, exterior. Then, in exterior din dito sa baba. Ang ating interior ay ito yung nasa loob, nasa gitna ng dalawang parallel lines. Okay. So, we have exterior angles. So, exterior angles means outside the lines. So, sa ating example, yung outside the lines, yung nasa labas po ng ating parallel lines, we have angle 1. And angle 2, diba? Sa taas, meron na isa dito sa baba, angle 7 at saka angle 8. They are exterior angles. Then we have also interior angles. Pag sinabing interior angles, ibig sabihin nasa loob, nasa gitna ng ating dalawang parallel lines. So based at intro, we have angle 3 and angle 4. And also, angle 5 and angle 6. Okay, so I hope nag you po yung ibig sabihin. And then, Angle pairs formed by parallel lines cut by transversal. Okay. We have also alternate interior angles. Alternate. Diba? Tapos interior. Meron din tayong alternate exterior. So, since nauna po si alternate interior angles, yung ating interior dito sa loob, diba? This one. Interior angles. We have angle 3 and angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. So, saan po, bu saan po ba si alternate interior angles? Nakalagay dito, form Z-shape. 
So anti G Z shape. This one Z shape. And also this one Z Z shape. Okay. So therefore alternate interior angles we have angle four and angle five. And also angle three and angle six. Okay, Paris po sila. Diba? Since Paris po sila, so ibig sabihin nito, angle 4 is congruent to angle 5. Ibig sabihin, magkapareho po sila ng measurement. And also, angle 3 is congruent to angle 6. Kasi 3, saka si 6 ay pareho sila ng measurement. Now, we will go to alternate exterior angles. Okay, two non-adjusting exterior angles on opposite sides of the transversal. Opposite sides, this one. Ito po yung transversal natin. So, opposite side, if if Yung ibang angles na dito sa side na to, yung opposite eh, this, sa kabilang side, ng transversal. Okay. So, since exterior, so dito po tayo mag-base sa labas ng parallel lines. Okay. So, we have angle 1 and angle 8. Diba? From this side of the transversal, opposite side ay this one, angle 8. And also, angle 2 and angle 7. So, therefore, angle 1 and angle 8 are congruent. And also, angle 2 and angle 7 are also congruent growing. Okay. Next, we have a corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Ibig sabihin nito, two non-adjusted angles on the same side of the transversal such that one is an exterior angle and the other is an interior angles and form F-shape. Okay, so this one, F-shape. So, F-shape? Ito po siya, F-shape. Diba? F. Okay, ganyan shape. Okay. So, saan po sila? First, we have angle 1 and angle 5. Yung isa, exterior. Yung isa, interior. Diba? Corresponding angles. And angle 1 and angle 5 are congruent. Diba? Corresponding angles are congruent. And we have also angle 3. This one. And angle 7. So, yung isa nasa loob, yung isa nasa labas. Okay. Interior at saka exterior. And angle 3 and angle 7 are congruent. Same measurement. Sa kabilang side naman natin transversal, we have angle 2 and angle 6. And they are congruent. Okay? Yung isa sa labas or exterior, isa interior. Then the last corresponding angles, angle 4. We have angle 4 and angle 8. Okay? Okay, kung, kung nakikita natin dito, di ba, same side po sila ng, di ba, same side dito. Okay, same side. Okay, this is our transversal. Tapos, sila lahat ito, same side. Kabila din, same side. Okay, so, angle 4 and angle 8. Yung isa, interior, isa, exterior. And they are congruent. Okay, next, we have same side exterior angles. Okay, Two exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, if this is our transversal, same side. So, this side are same po sila dito. And kabila, same din. So, since exterior, so therefore, this one, angle 2 and angle 8. Okay? Angle 2 and angle 8. Then, sa kabila naman, exterior, sa kabilang side ng transversal, we have angle 1 and angle 8. 7. And we have also same side interior angles. Interior angles na naman, na naman po tayo. So we have angle 4 and angle 6. Same side. Sa kabila side, angle 3 and angle 5. Same side. Okay. So by the way, yung same side po natin, diba, pares po sila. Diba, like, like this one, angle 2 and angle 8. If we add angle 2 and angle 8, the result is 180 degrees. And also, the angle 1 and angle 7, if you add this one, 180 degrees. Same also with the interior angles. Angle 4 plus angle 6, 180 degrees. Angle 3 plus angle 5 is 180 degrees. Okay. So, if two parallel lines are cut by transversal line, then, lasento na po tayo, properties of parallel lines cut by transversal, then, alternate interior angles are congruent. Yung sinabi ko kanina, di ba? Alternate interior angles are congruent. If two parallel lines cut by a transversal line, by yung line X at saka line Y cut by line T so therefore lahat ng alternate interangles are congruent 
And at the same time, alternate exterior angles are also congruent. Diba? Sabi ko kanina, the corresponding angles are congruent. And same side, interior angles are supplementary. Pag sinabi ni of supplementary, if we add the two angles, is equal to 180 degrees. Diba? Supplementary. So, same side, interior, yung sabi ko kanina. Tapos, same side, exterior, are also supplementary. If we add the two angles, the result is 180 degrees. Okay, so we have here, um, find the measure of the angles formed by parallel lines cut by transversal given that angle A, the measure of angle A is equal to 130. So we have here two lines, diba? cut by transversal line. Then, given a measurement the angle A, angle A, this one, angle A is equal to 180 degrees. Diba? So, since angle A is 180, no, 130 degrees, I mean 130 degrees, and angle A and angle B are adjacent, so therefore, angle A is plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Diba? So, ano pa ba yung measurement ni angle B? Given dito, angle B is 50, 50 degrees. Okay. So, ito na po siya. Angle A at saka si angle B. Diba? Angle A is 130 degrees. Angle B is 180 degrees. Uh, no, 50 degrees. So, therefore, if the measurement of angle is 130 degrees, dapat si angle D is also 130 degrees because they are vertical angles. And, if the measurement of angle A is 130 degrees, therefore, the measurement of angle E, this one, sa baba, ay 130 degrees. Bakit? They are corresponding angles. Diba? Yung isa, exterior. Yung isa, interior. Okay. And since angle B is 50 degrees, therefore, angle C is also 50 degrees because they are vertical angles. And if angle C is 50 degrees, so therefore, angle G is also 50 degrees because they are corresponding angles. Diba? Then, sa kabilang side, Okay, so since angle A is 130 degrees, tapos vertical angles plus laki angle D, so therefore angle D is also 130 degrees. And angle D is 130 degrees, dapat din si angle H. The measurement of angle H is 130 degrees because they are corresponding angles. Okay, congruent. And since angle B is 50 degrees, so... Angle F is also 50 degrees because they are corresponding angles. Okay, yan po. So, I hope nag-get siya po yung ibig nating sabihin. Okay, so now, let's go to our lesson 3. Problems involving properties of parallel lines cut by transversal. So, properties of parallel lines cut by transversal are very useful in solving problem. So, we have example here, line 1 and line 2, and we have this transversal line. Okay, line 1 and line 2 are parallel. Tapos, cut by this transversal line. Tapos, meron pa tayong 8 angles na nabuo. Okay. Now, find the value of x given that line 1 is parallel to line 2. If the measurement of angle m, ano, angle 1, measurement of angle 1, this one, is equal to 2x plus 25. And the measurement of angle 8, which is angle 8, this one, is equal to x plus 75. So, Based at in drawing, si angle 1 and angle 8, ano po sila? They are alternate interior angles. Pag sinami dito yung alternate interior angles, if we go back to our lesson number 2, di ba? Alternate interior angles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, ang measurement ni angle 1 ay equal to the measurement of angle 8. Okay, given yung measurement ni angle 1 na 2x plus 25, tapos given din yung measurement ni angle 8 na x plus 75, but how, ha, paano po natin malalaman na, malaman na, they're congruent. Meron pa tayong variable x. So first, we're going to solve the value of x. So since angle 1 and angle 8 are alternate interior angles, thus they are congruent, then our solution is this one. So we can come up with this equation. The measurement of angle M is equal to the measurement of angle 8. Yes, because they are congruent. 
by substitution, we will substitute the value yung, yung given kanina. Diba? The value, the, the measurement of angle 1 is 2x plus 25 is equal to the measurement of angle 8, 8, which is x plus 75. Then, combining like terms, combine natin yung my variable x tapos yung walang variable, nagiging ganito po yung ating equation. We have now 2x minus x is equal to 75 minus 25 using the property of equality. Okay? So, simplify. 2x minus x is x. 75 minus 25 is 50. So, therefore, the value of x is 50. Okay. So, next. Nakuha natin, di ba? 50 yung value ni x. So, if we try to substitute 50, this one, 50. So, either of the two equations, yung ating dalaw equation ay si 2x plus 25 tapos x plus 75. So, magiging ganito. Substitute si 50. Okay, 2x plus 25 so, 2 times 50, that is 10. La, uh, no, 2 times 50, that is um, 100. I mean, 100. Plus 25, so that's 125. Okay? Then, if it's a cheat natin doon sa, doon sa measurement ni angle 8, angle 8, which is x plus 25, so x is 50 plus 75, so 50 plus 75 is 125. So, therefore, na-prove natin na si angle 1 is congruent to angle 8 because they are um, alternate interior angles. Okay. So, for number 2, we have the measurement of angle 3, which is 4x plus 31. So, ang si angle 3, this one. Plus the measurement of angle, ano, the measurement of angle 8 is 2x minus 7. Then, this one. So, they are same side interior angles. Diba? This is our transversal line. Angle 3 and angle 8 are same side interior angles. Okay. So, solution. Since angle 3 and angle 8 are same side interior angles, thus they are supplementary. So, it means mean, if we add angle 3 and angle 8, dapat equal to 180 degrees. So, magiging, magiging ganito yung equation po natin. The measurement of angle 3 plus the measurement of angle 8 is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute po natin. Yung measurement angle 3 is 4x plus 31. Measurement ang angle 8 is 2x minus 7 is equal to 180 degrees. Combine like terms. Di ba? We have 4x plus 2x. Magaling siya dito, di ba? 4x plus 2x. Tapos yung 31 at saka si negative 7 using the property quality, malipat na sa kabilang side. That's why nagiging ganito po yung equation natin. 4x plus 2x is equal to 7 minus 31 plus 180 degrees or, 100, or 180. Simplify. 4x plus 2x is 6x. 7 minus 31 plus 180 is 156. Then applying the division property, so, divide both sides by 6 para maiwan si variable x dito. Tapos, 156 divide 6, that is 26. So, our x is 26. So, if we substitute the value of x sa ating equation, ang measurement ng ating angle 3, at saka kay measurement ni angle 8, so, if we add this to, magiging 180 degrees. So, dito na po siya. Substitute natin si 26 dito. So, 4 times 26, Diba? Plus 31. Plus 2 times 26, which is our x, minus 7. If we simplify that one, the result is 180. Is equal to 180. So, tama po yung ating ginawa. Kasi, angle 3 and angle 8 are same side interior angles and they are supplementary. Okay. So, once again, learning is a never-ending process. So, mag-aral na mabuti para ang buhay ay bumuti. Once again, this is Teacher Koy of Easy Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.